Doom reboot, it's been, it's been so long. Alright, welcome everybody. Today we're playing Alone in the Dark. This is a... I don't know if it's a remake of the original, but I think it's a reboot of the, of the uh, franchise Alone in the Dark, which started um, way back on DOS computers a long, long time ago. This is a... supposed to be a, a horror game, but we'll see how scary it is. And we'll just jump in and start playing. Uh, the intended difficulty. We'll try standard. If it's too, if it's too hard, we'll um, too easy. We'll do it. We will um, just turn it down or up. Yeah, blow in the dark is what inspired Resident Evil. the original started I believe maybe this is a remake so your uncle what's wrong with him he's possessed as in the devil something Wait. like that he says a dark man is following him watching him at all times what do you make of it is that Hopper? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to keep him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. Yes. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Choose character. Hmm. Some lady or David Harbour. Hmm. Tough choice. I think I'll go with Hopper. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Wait here. Uh oh. I'll go around back. I'm gonna go alone in the dark. Some 
Is that an actress that I'm supposed to know? I don't recognize her. Oh, JD Com Jody Comer. Oh, sorry. I didn't know who that was. I apologize. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh. sensitivity is really high. Let me turn that down. <laughs> Seems like every game I've turned the sensitivity down on PC a lot. Like none of them are balanced around having like modern, modern, uh, modern mice. It's like every one of them. She's from Killing Eve. Oh, I've never seen that. That's probably why I haven't heard of her. I have deeply apologized, Jody, for calling you some lady. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's not some lady. She's a very nice actress, I'm sure. But I'm just far more familiar with uh, this guy, Hopper, and Hellboy, and a few other roles that were really nice. Good actor. Um, so I have six bullets. Do I have inventory or something? Oh, I do. Desetto, the old plantation building, was ready to fall, but kept alive by some starry-eyed carpetbagger called Dr. Gray. Seeing how the staff couldn't even be bothered with answering the door, Detective Combi figured they would just head inside and grab Jeremy. He just needed to open the front door for Emily first, so she could talk to her uncle. I love that they voiced up, um, they voiced the little notes. That is amazing. Because that means I will actually read them <laughs> and know what the story is because they're voiced. If they're not voiced and there's a lot of notes... I start reading them all at the beginning, but then I'm like, mm, I'll skip this one. I'll skip this one. I'll skip this one. <laughs> Uh-oh. There's a key there. Now, what do we got here? The chest flashlight. In every game has the chest flashlight from Silent Hill. <laughs> key item. Ooh. Silent Hill came up with this uh, chest flashlight, and now everyone has it. Every game. It's just too good. That we don't have to, like, take up a hand slot. Okay, it's still a little high. Can I go lower? To zero? Maybe? Nope. <laughs> Can I lower sensitivity on my mouse? There we go. It's really high. You know, I wasn't sure about um, the construction quality of this house, but it seems pretty stable to me. Ooh. Uh, since there are two characters, I wonder how different the two playthroughs will be, or do they start in the same area? Hello. I see eyes in that bucket right there. I don't know what it was, but it's dead now. Got over here. Nah, I'm not getting in there. Th this actor's name is David Harbor, right? I keep wanting to say Hopper because of Stranger Things. I keep thinking Hopper, Hopper, Hopper. David Hopper. <laughs> David Hopper. Mm, I don't know. She looks suspicious to me. Just staying out here like that. There's a, a a bucket with water in it. Let's see what's in there. Hmm. What if I were to fill this hole with more water, and then I could pick it up? We smart around here. We know. 
Over the course of 15 years, I've solved a lot of video game puzzles. And a lot of them repeat. That one's a common one. The filling something up. Uh, okay, let me... I, where does this hose go? If I can find the end of the hose, maybe I can use that. Actually, it won't. I can't actually interact with the hose over here, unfortunately. Since we have a gun, that means there's probably going to be monsters in this game that I have to fight with the gun. Which is scary. Oh! God damn! Oh my god, I... am excited about Stunt Dragon's Dogma soon. I'm not... Wasn't scared at all. That was just. I was excited. Treat if it inside a conservatory. Is that tree talking to me? Housekeeper's key. Sakamoto san, thank you for that resub. Moon Pie says some lady lol. I'm sorry, I didn't recognize her. Moon Pie. Hope you can forgive me. The description YouTube said we're playing Supermarket Sim. Um, I'll fix it after the stream's over. <laughs> Sorry about that. The description doesn't really matter until after the stream's over, so I'll, I'll fix, update it later. Okay, that tree is like whispering or something. Wait a minute. There's bird cages in there. That's creepy. I don't like all these bird cages. Very nice place. Very abandoned, though. Let's go up here first if we can. What's in there? Bullets! We love bullets. That means I can dispense three more justice with my gun. Okay, well, looks like I can't go any of these ways except down, so I gotta go down. Yep, there's difficulty. Um, the game recommends playing on normal, so I'm doing normal first. I don't know how hard or easy it'll be. We'll see once we get to some combat. Uh-oh. What is that bumping sound? That don't is. mind if I do. Who would drink? Looks probably like a health drink, I'd imagine. Sorry, that's copyrighted. Uh, drink that restores health. Health drink is Silent Hill. Okay, nothing here. I see interactables here. What's that? Family Bible. Every day your silence weighs a little It's heavier. voiced. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth, or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I am going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of gris, -gris. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French Quarter Priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. 
We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Who is this? Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm, do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. Uh, that wasn't translated here anywhere. That last conversation was just in there without any subtitles. I love, love, love that all the dialogues and stuff are fully voiced. That's great. So, bullet, pistol bullet. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. And voice well, too, by nice voice actors. Ooh, this kitchen looks nice. I like that. Um... Oh, another health drink in there. I'll take it. Now, it shows that like there's like a hotkey for stuff, but is it arrow key? Like it said like see it's showing the controller icon, but I don't know how to How do I bring that up on keyboard though? Key bindings. Reload, hold, investigate, pause, stealth. Okay, what happened? Hold, melee, aim, sprint, examine, interact. Maybe E? No. Nope. <laughs> I can't. I don't know how to grab it. Hmm. Okay, I don't know how to replicate that little hotkey thing. Hopefully they'll explain it that during combat. I'm finding lots of bullets around here. Raise your hand in chat if you keep bullets in your kitchen. Like, instead of instead of anything else. It's like a lot of bullets for being a kitchen. in here okay back room let me try that door first then let's see what's over here pantry oh god someone's butchered in here another health drink oh I don't like this what's that rat poison Lagniapi. Rat poison. Forbi wait, forbidden knowledge. <laughs> what was that? Lagniapi is not something you can find throughout the game. Pleading sets will uncover forbidden knowledge and sometimes even more. You better watch out, chat. I'm going to. Lapanese carry game to game. Some set can be completed without playing both Carnaby and Emily's campaign. <gasps> oh no. So there's two separate campaigns. So when you complete um, his campaign, you go back and complete hers. Kind of like Resident Evil. I wonder what forbidden knowledge we're talking about here. Chat, you better um, behave or I'm put this rat poison in chat. You watch out. Oven. What is that stew? I think we got everything. Let's see what's over here. 
There's some sort of laboratory. God, this place is massive. Is that streetcar ticket? Another one. Refrigerator. Bullets in the fridge. <laughs> okay, I guess to keep them so they don't go bad. It's a weird place to keep your bullets. I don't, I don't know. I need the key. Gotta find the key. To find where that is, I don't know. Vengeance is best served cold. <laughs> I guess. Well, that goes upstairs. What's over here? have a clue. Sabotage. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Where is this torch? Oh, the flashlight? Yeah, that's um... Just like uh, in Silent Hill, he has the little chest flashlight that every horror game has. It's like iconic. Hmm. Slider puzzle. Oh no. That doesn't look safe. That. That looks scary. Okay, let's um try upstairs. Okay, what's in room number one? Oh, locked. Is there anything? Okay. Give me lots of bullets, but I haven't seen anything I needed bullets for yet. Creepy bathroom with some pee on the ground, too. Oh, God, that was loud. Okay, just... That was a little scary. Their first person? I don't think so. Designing a game for first person is a bit different. You gotta do all different animations and stuff. Locked medicine cabinet. Little health drink. Another clue. Sunday, June twenty second. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Wait, strange rot? Hmm. Okay. Oh, map. We got the map floor plans. So Grand Parlor is over there. Oh. And the Piazza hey. key. Yeah, definitely Mr. Monty Ponty. The flashlight definitely inspired by by uh, Silent Hill for sure. Yep, Chad's right. I was surprised that there wasn't a puzzle here where this was full of water and to reach in and drain the the thing or something. 
Hold on. Uh, I need to reset my monitor cable. It keeps blinking on my monitor. I need to plug it back in. Give me one second. Kept like my monitor kept turning off and on when I was playing, which is really annoying. Okay, so we need to find a key to open that over there. Okay, I need a. Hmm. I need the key. Okay, that won't work. How about this? Piazza key, sure. Wait, let me go upstairs first. There's probably secrets up here. This floor has a weird vibe to it. I don't like it's it. It's wedged shut. Okay. Yeah, uh, I believe Lone in the Dark 1 had a... Uh, Looks important. A fixed camera angle. And then you had to... So that's what inspired um, Resident Evil was... Them doing it first. Remember the controls for Alone in the Dark One just being awful. It was so frustrating. Okay, what is here? Oh. I'm not sure what's in here. All right. How about this room? I need the key. Locked. Does anyone live here? It seems like very alone here. I feel alone in the dark. Oh, the name of the game. Okay, I get it. Secret Asian Man, thank you for the five gift subs. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, I see a The Great a note. Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has suffered greatly. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a large part of the American workforce unemployed. In an oh, attempt no. to turn the tide, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. By regulating commerce with foreign countries, the government hopes to encourage the industries of the United States to compete with cheap foreign imports. Superstition on rise. New Orleans voodoo stores and spiritual mediums see increased profit during troubled times. While the market has faced hard times ever since Black Thursday of last year, voodoo doctors and snake charmers see significant rise in number of customers. With the coming eve of St. John on the 23rd, the police expect increased cult activity around Bayou St. John, the southern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Voodoo rituals in that area on the eve of St. John have a long tradition reaching back to the first snake worshippers brought as slaves from West Africa. During the 19th century, its practice was popularized by the legendary Marie Laveau, and has since been embraced by many of the Creoles and the surviving aristocracy of the French Quarter. Author seeks asylum. Rumors regarding author Cassandra Beauregard making Dorsetto her home verified. I love his voice. Dorsetto Hospital is an old plantation building on the eastern shores of Lake Pontchartrain. While often considered an asylum for the insane, residing Dr. Elmore Lee Gray prefers to think of it as a convalescent home, a place where you can go to rest. The patient list is kept secret, but thought to include many of the black sheep of wealthy families, because at Dorsetto, treatment does not come for free. Local author Cassandra Beauregard has now been confirmed by her own admission. She's been lauded as a powerful Creole voice and written many successful books. Lately it was reported from Hollywood that she has finished a moving picture manuscript titled Slaughter Gulch. That film is set to hit the theaters what? next year. 
that whatever they paid that guy is not enough. He made that newspaper very entertaining to listen to. <laughs> Kudos to them for voice acting all the notes instead of making us have to read them. I love that. Rubber stamp. I love, like, not only just voice them, actually, like, voice them with really good voice actors. Hello? Hello? I have a reservation. Service! I would like to talk to the haunted house's manager. Hmm. I need the key. Damn. This is, do they know? I'm gonna. I am gonna leave a scathing review. Scathing. Do, do you see me not get service? One of my favorite things lately is videos of people who are mad at a service person upload a video and then thinking that they're showing everyone just how awful they were treated, but it turns out they were really horrible and then they get made fun of and dragged because they're being a horrible person to the a service person. <laughs> they, they thought, oh my God, I'm being so wronged here. Oh. Thanks. Hi. What are you doing? Who are you? Whoa, pardon me. Excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. You will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? My name's Edward Carnby. Private investigator. Splendid. Enough! All of you, get back to your rooms. The coffee, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. In the corridor, it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. No one Thanks stops you. Hopper. Thank you about him. Hopper doesn't say no, for, doesn't take no for an answer. I love that uh, David Harbour didn't, like, phone this in. He's, like, acting, like, good in this. I like that. Some big actors sometimes for video games will give a half-assed performance. Megan Fox. <clears throat> All right. And, but he's Here actually doing really good. Let's look around. See if we can dig up any clues. Search Jeremy's room for clues. A locked box. This looks like a slider puzzle. Mm -hmm. Wait, this is his room? This must be an expensive hospital if you get this much room. Like a super private room. It's kind of old and dingy though, the walls ain't painted. Looks like it's falling apart. Oh, there's a conversation icon, hello. Anything important I should look out for? Did he keep a diary? Not that I know of, but it wouldn't surprise me. Sorry for shining this, this light right in your face. 
the commonplace book. Every night the dark man Whoa. stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawaya. Would I find you there, Juan? Hello, Inky. Well, Signora Perosi, back from the beyond. Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Signora. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulchre where you may rest, and I shall weep. It's not like he's maybe in the graveyard. How did you first come to understand such things, Signora? How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Or how the old upstairs clock with its these are all clues. Would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor. Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Tarawaya? Oh, I want that more than anything. Please, let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonka. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way, that the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. You remember uh, subbing 12 years ago watching the Halloween games? Oh, man, yeah. That was a long time ago. <laughs> uh, just saw the reviews for Dragon's Dome at IG and the game's still a jank as uh, the original. Yep, jank, but great. The The reviews for Dragon's Dome 2 are, like, really good. Eights and nines and tens across the board. I am excited for it tomorrow. The people of Deserto were becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. Oh, we'd be lost. Everything. I meant Thursday. Sorry. Thought today was... Unless I can find no, the clock. Friday. Mr. Wait. <laughs> it comes out Friday. He seems to be a clear thinking man. Maybe Beauregard. Uh, this game got like uh, mixed reviews. Some were seven. Some were two. Some were... It's all over the place. I'm not sure why they're so varied. This guy makes really good drawings. The dark man offered me a prison. And I accepted it. I signed that miscarried contract and entered the dark pact. Everyone is safe, except for me. What the hell? Okay, this this has some sort of numbers on it: eight, five, and three. So this will be useful for something. Ooh, plate. Now, I'm glad they voiced that, because that means we got all the information. Without the voice acting, it would have been a whole lot of lore dump. Oh my god, what are these statues he were making? Sometimes people just make the most horrific looking um, artwork. Julia likes to do that. She likes to draw some, like, 
really bizarre things. And I'm always like, whoa, what the hell, Julia? <laughs> Let's... Let's move this here. This here. That here. What's that? Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? You've been looking at that painting for like 10 minutes, eh, lady. <sighs> I would kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out. I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Save this one. <laughs> All right, come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. Let's go. Yeah, it's yeah, Jody Comer and David Harbour. They got good actors for the lead roles in this. The game has two campaigns replay as each character. Kind of like Miss Resident Evil 2. Uh-oh. Emily? Oh, no. Some Silent Hill stuff going on. What the hell is going on? Where am I? Wait a minute. Why is there a street out there? This isn't right. Hotel St. George. We're out in the middle of the woods. Why are we in the bayou all of a sudden? It's gonna be one of those trippy games where stuff just goes crazy all the time. Wait a minute, this was different as well. This isn't the house we came in here, what? Emily? <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh god, oh god! Okay, uh-oh. Kill monster with a ranged weapon. Okay, we're not in Kansas anymore. Something just happened. Okay, two bullets. What in the hell? I guess that thing needs to die as well. He just he's leaving. He can I'll save my bullets. He's gonna run away. Maybe he'll lead me to something. Better not jump out at me. <laughs> I'll be so pissed. Looks like he just vanished. Okay, more bullets. You can't go that way. I don't know, but what's in the trash can? That's some Silent Hill fog there. Well, game is it's called Alone in the Dark. It just came out today. What the hell is going on? 
Items can be thrown at enemies, use to distract them. Tap Q to throw an item, hold to aim. I didn't see an enemy to... to... distract. Health kit. Full on drink. How do I take my drinks? Option. Controls. Key binding. Hold for weapon for G. I, I love how, like, survival games always love to tell you that you can't, like, take stuff with you. I would be grabbing garbage bags. I would have Walmart bags. I would have plastic bags all around my belt buckles. I just be have bags of like health drinks everywhere and bullets. Let's see what's in here. Oh, look at loot goblin. I'd have one of those helmets with the beard things, but full of health drink going like in my mouth. That's a big <laughs> dude. The side, calm down. They're not the good guy. Are you? Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this. How? The pack with the dog man. Jeremy warned us, but. We didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth to die. Are you a thinking man, compare? No, nah, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know surprising things, compare. Yeah, the mama lower. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. Bastille's keys. There are three keys in the chain. One that opens up Miss Jackson's place, Prince Quarter. There are two other belonging to the sitter. One for the clerk's office, one for the library. Oh, I know all those. Nothing in there? Preserved reptile. Ooh. A goat without horns. That was that. Must be something from voodoo. Does anyone in chat practice voodoo? Does anyone know what a goat without horns refers to? Oh, lots of voodoo people in chat. Okay. Goat without horns. A goat without horns does sound pretty bad. You want to come along? Nah. I'm gonna stay here for a while. Smart man. If <laughs> stay where it's safe, never leave. That's the rule of the horror movies. Don't go off on your own. Don't investigate a scary noise. Just stay where it's safe and never ever leave. Go that way. Have you seen the video, the videos of the real haunted house they made for this game? No, I haven't. Were they good? Health drink empty. Let's see what's down this <sighs> way. Anything in here? Trash can. Oh, a pipe. Nice. 
nice. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Whoa. My weapon broke! The weapons break? Ah. Oh. No, I hate when weapons break and get oh. up. That's one of my least favorite mechanics is weapons that break. Like a metal pipe, you could bash someone across the face with that and it won't break. I would know, uh, I wouldn't know. What is that over there? Let me grab these bullets. What is that? I'm thrown to distract them. Trying to go. I have no map here. I don't know. I probably where it is right now, if I had to guess. <laughs> Can't get through the gate, can you? You stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> Justice! Watch it! <laughs> now let's now we can see if there's anything over here. Oh, there's an axe here that I missed. A hatchet. Oops. I can't go that way. Oh, there's a bell there. Can't go that way. Well, I missed that axe, but I'm glad it came back. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There's a door there. Hold on. Did I miss a secret? I, I see it. Is there another one? What's in here? Bullets to replace the bullets I used. Okay, I definitely hear something moving over there. I don't like that. Uh, let me go see if that door over there is reachable. Uh, what's that thing to throw? All right, let's go. Over oh, so many bricks on the sides of cars around here. Okay. Oh, nope. Whoa. Shit. Okay, nope. Apparently they respawn. Okay, running, running, running.
I'm gonna find that door. There's secrets over there. I know it. Luckily, huh. they're moving. Well, I came from that way. Okay, there's nothing there. Not worth it. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Go through here so their AI gets stuck. Please have shitty AI. Please have. Sh please have shitty pathfinding. Please save me, shitty pathfinding. Okay, now if there's shitty pathfinding, when I turn around, nothing will be there. Okay, never mind. No! Open the door! Okay. Close door, close! Okay, unfortunately developers put good pathfinding in the game. Mm. Get hoppered. Okay. We're one step away from playing that Kate Bush song. I'm running up that hill. Okay. More bullets, perfect. That was a forest boss fight, and they gave me some bullets. Damn it, why is he stuck in the wall? Uh, okay. <laughs> what? Don't think that's intended, but all right. I'm gonna go over here past you. Sorry, sir. Oh, nope. Nope, nope. Okay. Got him. What is that? A juju? What is juju? Just ask them a nice question there. That music sounds like someone running into the side of a door of a car. Bam! Boom. I this place. Do you? Want to share with the class? It's the talisman, like the one in the painting. A clue. Old talisman shaped over the centuries. The engraving of the numbers looks to be less than 100 years old, but the base could be an antiquity. Uh, the polished look black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish case and gives the impression of hiding a figure, a picture within itself. Use the talisman to get back to Deseto. Uh, uh, in the book, it was three something and then so there were three numbers on that thing I'll go double check but first let me can't open that okay let me uh I think it's meant for the talisman back up okay I need to get the clue again it was in our inventory hi Dan and Chad Sky why is Sheriff Hopper dressed up as Indiana Jones <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'll admit, I'll admit that was good. That was pretty good. Commonplace book. Uh, let's see, I get it. Okay, it's uh three five eight. Three five. I think eight. it needs numbers, like coordinates. 
Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Three, five, eight. It's showing something. A place? Where is that? Huh. It's like a torn painting. Oh. It's right here. Isn't that painting? Is that the... Oh, wait. The door is open and it's light lit up. Detective, I was wondering when you were going to show up. Who the hell are you? Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah. I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, Detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, Detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, it's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dosetto, Detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? <laughs> Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, Detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, Detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here, try this. Ooh, fancy glass. Ooh, it's good. Got a bite? <laughs> it's called a sidecar. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay, what can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order, and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while. Now, I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go. But I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. You know, David Hopper... Uh, Har sorry, David Harbour would be a great... A great... Indiana Jones, if they want to like reboot the series with a new actor. Detective Carnby, how did you, where did you go? I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. No, it's not what you think. Have you, have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive, and I can't figure out why. 
No, I mean something you can't explain. Paranormal, even. Detective, I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to, I want to try something out. With this talisman, I think I can follow Jeremy in the place he mentioned in the book. What Maybe he name? would be good in a show called Stranger something Things. Spanish? Tarawea. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective? Are you going to be all right? Yeah. Of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. Are you not going to mention that you're, like, traveling between realms and you fought monsters and stuff? We're just kind of... What if we just this instantly forgot about all that? French Quarter in the blink of an eye. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere, even Teruea. If he can do it, so can I. I just need to figure out how the talisman works. I would figure that we would, you know, be like maybe talking about that a little bit. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I guess not. But then again, I guess. If someone came up to me and was like, I can travel between dimensions, I would be like, okay, okay, uh, sure you can, right, definitely. I believe you. Room key number six. Repairing the boiler. So notice in the boiler room, you should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Be careful. Yeah, they did set up Shia LaBeouf to pl replace Indy, but I think he went crazy, and so they're not going to do that anymore. We kind of, like, dropped those plans entirely. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, is responsible for the household. Jean-Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for keeping the guests' medical regiments in check. Finally, Jack Chance is our gardener, who can occasionally be seen in the conservatory, but is, for the most part, busy outside. There are currently six guests at Dossetto. Malcolm McCarthy and Ruth Talant reside on the first floor. Jeremy Hartwood, Elisabetta Perosi, Grace Saunders, and of course, Cassandra Beauregard live on the second floor. Is this set in France? No, this is set in New Orleans, which um, I believe a lot of French people um, settled there after during the founding of our nation. So there's a lot of um, French influence in that area. That's why there's a lot of French names, a lot of French, uh, French everything, like, there, and a mix, it's like, the culture there is called Creole, it's like a nice mix of Southern, and, like, there, that, there's a whole bunch of people that gather there, and it's just this, it's a really interesting place. Mardi Gras held there every year, uh, Mardi Gras, like, where they... I don't know much about Monte Gras, but I know that if I, for some reason, if I lift up my shirt and shake, I people throw beads at me. I don't know what I don't know what it's about, but I know that that's part of it. Patient files. Sandra Boulevard, Grace Saunders, Malcolm McCaffrey, Elizabeth Parasi. Uh, Roof Talant. Start from writer's block needs to finish her moving picture script. Mother says supervision proper to avoid per uh, further perversions of Grace's adolescence. Oh, no. Caffrey admitted himself that DeSoto simply stated that he needs some damn rest. Proceed broke into Sardo and was found wandering the grand parlor. Uh, Bruce's father wishes the daughter be moved from New Orleans light life for a foreseeable future. He fears that her overly free spirit is tarnishing the family's reputation. It's like all the patients are accounted for, except for Jeremy. 
There's no way I can get into this thing. Better leave it alone. I don't know. Probably figure it out. Uh, oh, one of those uh, ink blot things. Another note. Broken Paul, place. you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. I love how their boiler is a slider puzzle. I'm just like, how did that happen? I need the key. Who the hell, um... Who the hell decided to make, um... Hmm. I need the key. Put a slider puzzle on the side of a boiler. Point click adventure games are always strange about that. Even like silent, like even like Resident Evil, you have a bunch of weird. Like to get into the bathroom, you have to solve a statue puzzle, a time statue puzzle. Oh, we are downstairs. Unsolved puzzles. Uh, if we go back outside, we can try to get that one key. Oh, there's a ladder there now. Let me go back around. Ooh, library. Uh, who owns this copyright hacking the first level budgeting? Uh, I believe this was published by... I want to say THQ Nordic, but let me double check. Who is the publisher? Yeah, THQ Nordic. THQ Nordic's been really good at, like, making these medium-sized games. Like, they're not quite super AAA, but they're just big enough, you know? It seemed like they got, like, a pretty... To hire David, uh, to hire Hopper, and then... Some lady to the other role. I forget what her name is again. It's, a, it's not Joan Crawford. No, that she's been long since dead. Uh, what's her name? You guys said it earlier, and I forgot it already. <laughs> Jody Comer. There we go. Jo Jody Comer. Wait, 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 wait. I can look through the people. The door closed again. Lost Plantations of Louisiana, Thierry Briglow, 1917. Their settle was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The land was considered difficult for industry and was sold for only $30 to Elia Pickford in 1818. Pickford employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion facing the lake with a striking Greek Revival temple facade. Desetto kept a modest production of Paris tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. During the antebellum era, Desetto was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo and witchcraft. People who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires, bleating and wailing. On June 17, 1862, Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army recounts leading a raiding party from ships anchored in Lake Pontchartrain in order to seize control of Desetto and free the slaves working there. The captain was surprised to find the workers fighting back with unprecedented zeal. Norton's account describes these men and women as enraged with fanaticism. Pickford reportedly tried to placate the raiders, but was shot in the confusion. Captain Norton left the mansion burning and retreated to his ships with his men. Their settle was left in ruins for several decades. The ownership of the land was long disputed and returned to the Ledoux family in 1901. Several police reports were filed during the following years as the Ledoux tried to get rid of a camp of squatters on their land. 
The police made several visits to remove the trespassers, but the people kept returning. On November 1st, 1907, Inspector Lagrasse of the police charged a deadly attack in order to save several children kidnapped by the squatters. Many were killed, and even more were jailed. The following year, Ledoux rebuilt Deserto, incorporating the surviving stone foundation and adding a magnificent wrought iron conservatory. The farmland had been reclaimed by the surrounding woods, so it was no longer profitable to use as a plantation. Instead, the house was turned into an artist's colony. The Astarte Artist Colony was a successful group of artists, including figures such as painter Heinrich Cassel and poet Nora Keith. The group was also known for their beloved Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain. On September 29, 1915, a tropical hurricane tore through Louisiana, causing Lake Pontchartrain to flood New Orleans. Due to the remote location of their settle, it took almost two weeks for outsiders to learn that the artist's colony was abandoned. The twelve residing artists had all vanished without a trace. The empty mansion of Der Seto still stands on the shore of Lake Pontchartrain, with much of its temple facade intact. The Ledoux family currently has no intention of repairing the house. A lot of lore. How's this so far? Uh, it's not particularly super scary yet, but it's got an interesting story. I think we're riding about like a six on this game right now. I think it's above average horror game. Not blowing me away yet, but it's not bad either. It's just sort of like interesting. No? Darn. Probably shouldn't shoot it either. <laughs> What's that? It's wedged shut. So it must need something to pry that pry that open with. God! A chain door. Okay, suddenly loud. Oh, it's on fire out there. Bolt cut. Horror games love the bolt cutter. <laughs> The bolt cutter is back, everybody. <laughs> you can't have a horror game without having a bolt cutter. What is that? The room's filling up with liquid. Hell was oh, what happened? Everything's normal again. I love how the game is like a six, huh? A six? How about this? <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, you're you're riding a seven now. I'll give you a seven. <laughs> like six, in my ass. I'm it, it, it that was a pretty, pretty cheap jump scare. <laughs> it's like, bam! I'll get a 6.9 now. 6.9. Let's put that up there. Uh, if you're watching on TikTok, you're having a good time. Don't forget to double tap the screen to like it. It does help the channel uh, get put on the For You page. You're having a good time? <sighs> Got it. Ooh, hose. Mm. Nice. Anything else in here? Okay, must have to attach the hose somewhere. Hmm. So put the hose on there. And then we want to fill her up with water. Dan's a TikToker now. Yes, I am. And a YouTuber. We're on all three at the same time now. I heard some lady like creep laughing.
Wait, what's that right there? Mummified cat. Oh! Beast of bird. Oh! Why would I want that? Ooh, there's a plate there. Thank you, Liz, for the raid. Welcome. Welcome, raiders. Hello, everyone from Liz's channel. Playing the new Alone in the Dark game. Uh, yeah, they changed the rules so you can multi-stream now. So a, a lot of people are streaming to TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube all at the same time. Some even to Twitter, some to, like, Instagram. I don't feel those two are places to stream to, though, because who wants to watch a stream in Twitter? It's just a weird platform for it. Um... Like of all the places to watch a stream, Twitter's like the last place I'd ever think to want to watch a place. <laughs> they don't have a very good chat and stuff. Um. Oh, let's see. Broken plate. So I gotta find a way to get through that thing. Must be some way to open this. It wasn't the axe? It wasn't the axe? Yeah, they call it X now, but we all, most all of us, still call it Twitter. <laughs> you know? They can call it whatever they want. Once we learn a name for something, it's really hard to, for us to ever change. Like I still call. Um, I think it's called Max now, but I, I still call it HBO app. I'm watching HBO. I don't call it Max, even though they changed the name, you know? Like, I'm stubborn. That looks blocked. What else do we get a key for? Uh, let me check upstairs. There is There was, like, a locked door up there. Yeah, um, they did it. It was it was called HBO. First, it was called HBO Go or HBO Now, and then it was called HBO Max, and now it's just called Max. It's strange. I don't know. Yeah, we got a bunch of room keys. I have to figure out how to get to the rooms though. It's wedged shut. Let's see. Okay, nothing there. Yeah, I'm thinking about calling uh, instead of being Dan's Gaming, we're gonna be called um. Dan's Max or something. Or Dan 2. Just do a brand change. I will play some more study later. We're just uh, playing this for now. It just came out. I've been looking forward to it for a while. I need the key. Nope. Got a room 6 key. I'll go upstairs. Alright, let's go up here. What are these statues? Oh, I hate them. Oh, no. Oh. People want these in their home? These remind me of those statues Same. from, uh... Looks like some kind of... Beetlejuice that came alive and started, like, wrapping the people around in them. Thank you for that follow on TikTok, Siri1. Appreciate that. This must be the clock that Jeremy wrote about in the commonplace yep. book. Yeah. Huh? There's Looks like the plate that held the talisman in the seance room. But it's broken. One more. And missing some pieces. Let's see what's over here. Hmm. I need the key. Locked. Oh. <laughs> you know, sorry, detective. Didn't mean to obstruct justice or anything. That's fine. You know. I'm kind of busy with my own case of a missing Creepy. I, I was wondering if you've seen Grace, girl about yay high. Can't say that I have. Why are you asking? Well, I'm looking for her. Is she in trouble? No, 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 no. Uh, she's just uh, hiding somewhere. We can't have a rascal like that running around unchecked. 
time like this, you understand? Well, I haven't seen her. Well, let me know if you find her. I'll be around. Please punch him. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for your man, Jeremy. You scratch my back, detective, and I'll scratch yours. That man gives me the creepiest vibe. Just, ugh. Yeah, I don't like that. Alright, well, what do we got over here? They got really good voice actors for this. I mean, David Harbour is already a great actor. Here. Oh, we're back here. Lock, steam, trunk. A clue. Beverly's here. Okay. What a great clue. Okay, what is... Bullets? No bullets. I'm sad. Um, what's in here? No bullets? That should be a crime to have containers with no loot in them. Fountain pen. Only missing one more part of that. Yeah, we're so early in the game. The game's not that bad yet. It's pretty, pretty good storytelling. Not like the, um... Not like, uh... Not like the best story ever, but it's entertaining enough to keep, let me keep going. Yeah, we're only about an hour into the game. About an hour and a half. Still pretty early. Uh, vertical TikTok stream is weird. Uh, TikTok lets you stream in vertical and horizontal at the same time. You don't have to like do two separate streams. It's So there's compatibility mode. If you hit the little square on TikTok, it will flip to horizontal mode. I think this is room six. Yeah. Actually, let me see if this is openable for nope blocks. Just checking. Huh. How eccentric. Mm. What are these symbols? Puzzle. Looks like alchemy or star constellations. I feel like I've seen that before. Those symbols, hold on. Let me double check. Were they in here on this page? Yep. Um, okay, so H, H, two, man fallen down. H two man fallen down. Nope. Maybe it's the reverse. Nope, must not be. That hold on. What is going on with that mirror? Why is that? That mirror is. That is probably one of the strangest video game mirrors I've ever seen. I'm a lot smaller, way lower frame rate, and I'm, nothing in the scene matches except for my character. That is the weirdest. That's like a funhouse mirror. <laughs> okay. I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads. And I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Jeremy.
I love that they voice acted all those things. Oh god. Is that a puzzle? Okay, some sort of puzzle there, and also... Yastarte Artist Colony. I remember hearing about their disappearance. Must have been 15 years or more now. Now another one. And then a I journal. I remember how to get them out again. They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Derseto, and sadly, no Astarte. Those good pirates of Ponchartrain. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. It's a lot of, lot of puzzle pieces, and I gotta put it all together. Let's start with over here. Uh, are you gonna play start with um, Dragon's Dogma Two: Rise of Ronin first tomorrow? Uh, those games come out on Friday, not tomorrow. Which is all I'm legally allowed to say. Wait, Jake's James McMahon? These paintings got some grim-looking rot on them. Why, though? Okay, so... Some of the paintings... The reverse side matches. Hmm. So we have William Argus, Franklin Mazig, Nora Keith. All right, so it's time. Chat, I have to pull out. I have to pull out my puzzle notebook. A brand new one, too. <laughs> I love that animation he just did. There we go. That was great. What a gamer, I know. You gotta have a... If you're gonna play puzzle games like this, you have to have a gamer notebook. I don't make the rules. Okay. So we have... William... Argus... Franklin, Mazig, and Nora Keith. All right, and then they are William is two, so two, Franklin is nine, and then Nora. Keith is four, so two, nine, four. And then we need to convert those using our astrology book here. So two would be Pisces, so that symbol. Nine would be Libra, which is arch, the line underneath that. And then four would be three, two, three, four, Taurus, which is circle shape. That means this is the answer. That is the answer to the puzzle over there. Nailed it. Let's go see if I was right. 
So H, looking symbol, then the hump symbol, and then. <sighs> Got it. Broken plate. Nailed it. Boom. Puzzle solved. When I go through this door, I expect there's going to be a transition to an evil place and we're going to have to shoot stuff. Huh? Uh, yep. And that's why I live in this room now. Never mind, it's evil in here too now. What even are those things? It's like leeches and stuff. Whoa. I'm gonna try not to step on whatever the hell those are. Oh, they hit me. Uh -oh. We're in the bayou, so it's probably swamp-inspired creatures, so leeches and alligators, Walmart employees, all kinds of stuff. On? Things that want to suck the life out of you. I think I've seen this somewhere. Hmm. Can I rotate pieces? This piece and this piece need to flip. It's going based off that shape there. This piece and this piece need to flip. There was something in the commonplace book about this. You know, is this me? Is this kind of jamming? Got that, like, it's got that beat to it. I could get down to this. Just lay a couple tracks on top of it. Wait a minute, there's a little piece here. I'm missing something. Something's not lining up for me. Okay, let me see. Was it this one? Yeah, it's there. Um. The crack goes up from the bottom and to the right. Which is not... I don't think it's currently doing that right now, is it? I'm going to write this down really fast in my notebook. Okay, I wrote it down in my notebook. Yep, that is definitely not correct.
Okay, now it's mostly correct, but I think we're missing. Nailed it. I think the clock broke. Or maybe it just stopped at a very precise place. Okay, so it stopped at... Let me go ahead and write this down in my notebook just to make sure I got a copy of it. Okay, wrote it down in my notebook. Don't know what that's for yet, but I'm going to need it at some point. I need the key. Where have I seen that? There was a puzzle that required... It's three numbers, so it could be a safe combination. Freeze! Oh, you barely survived that one, sir. I'm not gonna Just walk out of barely. this barely. I need to help Emily save her uncle. Alright. Let's go. Wait, the... It is... The puzzle is through here, so maybe... I can't arrest him. He has the right to bear arms. There's no way I can get into this thing. Better leave it alone. Okay, not that, apparently. I bet you he was really hyper in life. And his name, they probably called him Nate, you know. Hyper Nate. Hyper Nate. Hmm. Okay, no key. I need the key. Hmm. Oh, the drawing room had a puzzle. I can't remember that. Let's go over there. See what's over here. <sighs> Chad is just jealous that they don't have the level of humor that I do. And it's a shame, really. It's so good. So it was through this room and left. Hmm. Oh, this. That requires something else, though, not this. Hmm. Oh, I can interact with the plate thing again. Oops. Oh, my God. It's probably for the dial. I put the dial numbers on there. Medicine box. Okay, I think I need to. I know where to go now. Just gotta figure out. This way? Yes. Okay. Uh, save? I believe the game has auto save, but let me double check. Yeah, it does have auto save, so it's saving all the time. But it's always good to have a backup save, too, just in case. There was one time a game crashed and I lost like four hours of progress. Now, chat, here's a good question for everyone that's watching, okay? How long between your last save let's say the game crashes and you lose progress what's the maximum amount of time before you go I'm done I'm not doing that again what's like the the max like if it's more than this I'm not even going to bother trying to do it again a lot of 30 minutes a lot of 2 hours 10 minutes that's <laughs> I need the key. 
It's not that much. Ten minutes is... Hmm. Oh. Okay, so... It's gonna be... Six... Four... Three. Six, four, three. Six, four, three. There we go. There's a picture oh. in the black glass. It's showing me something. The things are gone. It's the hallway outside Jeremy's room. It's back the way we came. So now the stuff should be gone. I should be able to walk over there. Uh oh. <laughs> Chat, I think that I'm alone in the dark. All right, good night, folks. It's all over. See you next time. Here's a little something you may. I'm kidding. That ain't right. Why is that going out into the swamp? Huh. I made it. I entered another one of Jeremy's memories. Do you know what this reminds me of a lot? Is kind of, um, it's got a lot of. Evil Within in it. Oh my God, there we go. The, the, char the main character, the way the, the environment stuff, I get a lot of Evil Within, but way less combat focused more storytelling focused. Anything here before I jump down there? Okay, I don't see any loot here. So let's go down to the swamp. Ugh. I use Matt, D, D Preach. I think Matt looks better than Gloss for displays. I went to uh, Florida once um, to go on an airboat ride in the in the swamp, and I kid you not, I looked down at my arm, and mosquitoes just all down my arm. I, it was, they were just all over me. It was terrible. It was... May nineteen twenty three. Monday. All okay. Ready for delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forestalled. Tuesday. Shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance. Service bridge close to broken. Wednesday. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hotwood, a painter, who read about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow and try to find a way inside. Thursday. Mr. Hartwood's efforts delayed. The workers seem nervous about his presence. Hartwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain, who means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully that's the end. Work can resume. Maintenance. Bridge from the oil tower to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. This is the devil that guides us now. Who's that? Who said that? Huh. This is the devil that guides us now. Bullets? No. More bullets, good job. Uh, what is that? Um, nothing. Their map is of no use here. Great. Locked. Mm, I need the key. To be fair though, we're in like a different dimension and that's class. Why not just break it? 
But then again, if I ask that question, then I gotta ask the other question in every horror game. Why don't we just move the stuff slightly out of the way in front of this door and then walk through? You can't ask crazy questions like that in a horror game. Like, you can't do that. If there's a chair in the way, you can't walk through there. Mark that with the red line. You can't go through there. You can't slide stuff over. Um. Enemies? Uh-oh. Yeah, that's blocked. Locked. I don't see an enemy yet. Don't even hear an enemy. I Okay, I hear an enemy. Sounds like a gator. A jetty key. Hmm. What is a jetty? Okay, some healing items. Just four bullets, jackpot. Oh, cool. We can open that. A locker over there. We haven't had a jump scare locker yet. That's a lot of pants. Alright, let's open this door and see what's in here, I guess. There's something missing. Nope. I definitely hear something in the water, which is concerning. I wonder if it's gonna be like a half man, half alligator. Okay, what? Did, I just picked up a key. What was was something locked? was locked um, over this way, I think. Ooh, did I not open that? It sound, does sound like the premise of a movie. Hmm. This summer, he's half man, half crocodile, all angry. Come into a local theater near you. Bullets, I'll take it. Thank you for sharing the live, Jose, on uh, TikTok. Appreciate that. Thank you, Abram and Siri, for those follows as well. I play enough horror games to know that this is a trigger item. I touch that, it's going to spawn enemies. So let me look around for loot first. We got healing items. Um, a pipe. You can only carry one melee weapon at a time, and they break. All right, I should leave her alone, but I'm gonna take the lever anyways. Got it. Yep. Hear it? Did not see him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Woo. Thank goodness I'm wearing brown pants today. That's all I can say. Woo. That'll wake you up. Got a little bit of a scare there. Was that healing? Yeah, I'll go ahead and drink my healing juice. Take the backup. 
Go ahead and put the lever there. It worked. <gasps> oh! Thank goodness I'm wearing my extra brown pants today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're trying to kill me on camera here. I thought we were falling in the water. I can't go through that door. Hello. Well, if we're up high, um, alligators can't climb, so we should be fine. got here more healing item getting over this way nope. wait this hatch has been pretty good I'm holding on to this but where am I supposed to be going oh there's a window there okay I see it. I was confused like that. Oh, what's that? Another healing item? Ooh, can I go in this little gap? Secret, possibly? Ooh. Looks like Bob Ross, nice. I found his palette. Nice. Score. Draw some happy little trees up in this scary little swamp place. <laughs> what the oh. hell, God? I've been in the damn underdark, all right? I'm in the other side. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, wrong franchise. I've been in the other side. Upside down. No, sorry. Upside down. You don't scare me. You're no Demi Gorgon. Got him. Guys in the ground. Oh, oh. Combat's not the greatest in this game. <laughs> we're definitely weak. not gonna, just you know, need something to break it. We're not gonna be seeing this combat system in any other game. It's pretty, pretty bare bones. Very basic. It's not bad. It's not great either. Just sort of okay. Or a weapon. So I like the hatchet. Any bullets? No. Lots of melee weapons here. Maybe they want me to be doing melee. Shovel. Break through the barricade. Barricade. What barricade? Nothing in there. Yeah, we'll be playing some Stardew Valley uh, soon. Just saw this game come out. I was like, oh, finally. I, I was wanting to play this last year, but they delayed it. So I'm glad it finally came out. Not... Can we all agree that they don't make enough horror ga enough double or even triple A horror games? We need more of them. We get maybe one or two every couple years that are, you know, we get indie games all the time, but like high quality ones, so rare. We need more of them.
Not enough people buy them. I bet a whole lot more people would buy a AAA horror game than, than have than bought Suicide Squad. Just saying. We can spend all that money on that game. If you're, if you're not Resident Evil, you're not going to get, like, tens of millions of sale on your game. But, you know, there's there's a market out there that wants horror games. If you make good ones, people will buy them. As long as you keep the budget in control and don't get crazy. Probably easily turn a profit. What's in here? Uh-oh. Hi there. Bullets. Thank four bullets. I like that. My first time in chat, but I, can I recommend a semi horror zombie game? Always. Oh, my little thing is destroyed. Nothing in there? Took a lot of hits to take him out with that. Okay. Oh, oh. oh no. Oh, oh god, I'm stuck on the chair. <laughs> no, no. Why? Oh, come on. Come on. Really? Oh my god, okay, we're free. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I thought I was gonna live on that chair now. Okay. That was our first bug. It's not bad, we're playing like two hours, only got one bug so far. Alright, time for sneakies. Uh, this is more of a double A game, not a quite a triple A. It's a bigger budget than most games, though. Did he crash into the wall? Tremors. You remember the movie from the 80s or early 90s called Tremors where you just had to sneak past? Yeah, they put um, stuff to throw all over the place on top of barrels and stuff. That's all it was, a brick throw. Six bullets. Uh oh, I see a ladder right there. Shut down the oil pump in order to climb the tower. Oil pump? Oh, that's a Molotov?
Didn't realize that was a Molotov. Pipe, pipe, pipe. Okay, go back down. Turn off that switch, I think, right there. The hell? Uh, sorry. Well, this entire town is gone now. The floor is literally lava. What the hell are they? They're swarming. Huh. All right. Now what? Let's see what that is. Tough cloth. Oh, I praise that too. Yeah, come on, Carby. Let's Indiana Jones this shit right here. Flames. Let's go. You got this, Hopper. Don't worry about the hat. I mean, it's a cool hat, but I I wouldn't let go. Wait, I'm full on bullets. One! <laughs> oh, we're back. Everything's good. Okay. The game slightly crashed there. I love this swamp environment. They did a good job with it. What is that walking out there? Tater Mang, thank you for that 62 month resale. Appreciate that. Wendigo. Are you really alone in the dark to be a chat with you? Good question. I guess not. That... I don't know what that was. I didn't like it. Are these bodies? It's the hateful mound Jeremy talked about in his book. Hateful mound. Don't come any closer. I'm armed. Get that thing out of my face. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm just a detective trying to find something called Tarawea. You after Jeremy too? Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's alright. He might be unharmed, but far from alright. He's a curse upon DeSetto. Uh, here we go again. What? Christ in heaven. 
happen. And we're just gonna act like that didn't happen? We're, we're just gonna be like, oh, that, I'm just now here. Can I have this yet? Ooh. No, I want that. It looks like a good weapon. What's in here? Pallet knife. Oh, it can open this. Awesome. Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts by Juan Luis Jorge. To act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become rote and rigid, in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the tarot of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. I love that they voiced all the little dialogue things. And with different voice actors each time, too. Would have been much simpler just to have one guy do all the voices, but they didn't do that. It's like we're going to have a different voice for each each line of each book and stuff. All right, it's a good time to take a little break. I'm going to go run the bathroom and stuff. Uh, if you're having a good time, don't forget to follow. If you like my content want to see more of it, I'm on all the platforms. All the links are below the channel down there. We also have a second Twitch channel now, which we play comfy games at night. You can follow the link down there. It's Dan's Comfy. And if you guys having a good time? I'm glad you're here. Thank you for being here. I'll be right back. Just a couple minutes. I'm going to run the bathroom and grab a drink and stuff. I'll be right back.
Is he smoking? Wedge shot. Use the pallet tool. It worked. Ah. Sorry, I take my Prilosec and my fiber gummies. Yay! All right, barrel lens instructions. The Barlow lens instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. Okay, then. Uh, Rubble Monk, thank you for that 33 month resub. That's so kind of you. Thank you very much. And. Pull up my little thing. Uh, my cock, thank you for the 69 month resub. <laughs> my cock, thank you for 69 months. Uh, Ragnar87, thank you for the, six, for the two month resub. Darth Pancake, Tater Man, Caroni, PT Toastman, Embal Embalup, thank you for those subs, guys. <laughs> Do you know how long they planned that to be named My Cock? And then. Just, and then be subbed for 69 months so they can make that joke. That was amazing. So we unlocked the shotgun cabinet. Ooh. What's this? So the shotgun's been unlocked from getting all those pieces. Ooh. Shotgun sounds amazing. Ooh, a key, seller key. But is there a buyer key? I don't think I have everything I need. Definitely missing something there. Oh, this is open now. So those things give now me like bonuses. Cool. Uh oh. I only got two rounds for it though. Shotgun's always my favorite weapon in these games. It's always so powerful. Hmm. Oh, let's go this way. Huh? Wait, locked. What? What the hell is that? Oh no. Oh, God, okay. Oh, God, no! What the fuck? <laughs> that was some bullshit. Uh-oh, I think the game locked up. I can't. Oh, no. I can't. Nothing will work. Oh, wait, oh. There you go. The mouse wouldn't work on that screen. I had to use Waz and then press E. So I guess they want me to use the shotgun there. Now that I know that's happening. I will be prepared this time, but that was scary. Huh? Oh. That 
Damn it. Shotgun shell. Oh, there's the shotgun shells. Oh, and a pickaxe. Would have been nice. Okay, that was a mean section. Very cruel. Not nice. And now we're back. Just. You had that section just to uh, take all my sh. Really? Dabs are trolls. Bunch of trolls. God. That was some of the most trolly shit I've ever seen. Hmm. What was that? Let me check upstairs. Maybe we got a key to one of the rooms up here. Oh, we got we go in here now. It's wedged shut. Pallet tool. It worked. Oh, it was like a hallway here. See, there's carpets in front of this door. Therefore, I can never go through there. I couldn't possibly go through. Oh. Oh, we're back in this hallway again. Hmm. Wait a minute. I haven't been in here since we teleported. Is there something in this room? This was the one where we like went inside and then it became a swamp. So there's nothing in here. Am I winning? I'm trying to. Alright, what is in here? Oh, cussing. Detective Conby, how good of you to come. Let me pour you a drink. What happened here? This place looks like it was hit by a bomb. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, Detective. Thanks. Did the ceiling just collapse? I heard it was something in the attic. Something that was supposed to happen, but didn't. How that could have such consequences is beyond me. Vecna? Was he in the attic? The truth is, I don't know why the room looks like this. But I bet your friend Jeremy does. You know where I could find him? Oh, somewhere in his past, I suppose. He keeps going on about that mysterious dark man. I think he is hiding from him. Or maybe he's with him. I can't really keep up. I don't worry much. Take a look around this room. You may think it looks spectacularly devastated, but I just think it's finally found its stride. It fits perfectly with the state of this place and its loonies. The same goes for the nonsense with Jeremy. In my eyes, we finally managed to match the wild ride inside all of us. Well, I'm happy you find the evening so harmonious. I uh, hope you don't mind me setting things right. Jeremy's business, that is. This room looks beyond my capabilities. Good luck, detective. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah, evening, miss. Just smoking and drinking in an old abandoned asylum. Just living her best life. They just had a big update for Deep Rock Galactic. Oh, did they? I'll have to look at the patch notes later. I love that game. Can I get some more of that whiskey? Go ahead, detective. I don't think I can stomach any more anyway. Free whiskey? 
Am I bothering you? On the contrary, detective. I enjoy watching professionals at work. He didn't get any of that whiskey, and that makes me mad. He deserves some whiskey. Uh, the bottle does look empty now. All right, anything on this side before I go over there? I see. Oh, oh, bullets, shotgun shells. Uh, beignet. Wait, poison, beignet, and a syringe? Why would the... Why do those mix? Huh. Oh, we're back in this room again. Another way to get over here. So someone must have filled a... Uh, a beignet with rat poison. Wait a minute, that's me in every every mission in um, Hitman. I always filled some food with rat poison so they'd vomit and then I could take their outfit. Full and pistol bullets. Well, maybe I'll see them later. Anything over here? This is a horror game, but it's far more on the storytelling side than more about than scary stuff. Most of the scary stuff has been mostly just combat. Oh, Ireland is cool. Right, let's try going down. Or not. I need the key. Nope. Okay, we have the cellar key, so maybe we can go down. Oh, we're on the first floor now. Medicine box key. Uh, Alone in the Dark was never horror. Never was. I obviously didn't play the original. The original very scary to me as a small child. But I got attacked by the monster thingy. Oh, the syringe. Great Depression. So set bonus. As the world moved into a new decade, America was spiraling into a maelstrom of debt, drought, and death. It was called the Great Depression and ruined many families. It was a fitting name, and poverty also breeds madness through desperation. Jeremy was, of course, no such victim, for he had already witnessed the darkness within. He knew the shadow that stood in, on the, hit the threshold very well. It wasn't new. It was something that had always been with him. As the world that moved was into voiced. the new decade, America was spiraling into a maelstrom of debt. It was voiced. Damn it. I didn't hit this. I didn't see the play button. THQ Nordic, I'll take my check for voice acting. Thank you. Five dollars. Or you can include that in the game as an Easter egg. No. <laughs> oh. There's more of that aggressive rot. Oh, this stuff. On the commonplace of evil. There lies virtue and stark irreverence. Careless thoughts of luminous indifference. But blame not the beast we once were, which science so often wished to refer. Not the wicked full of sin. It is you who stand and grin. All our good intentions aside, whereupon we build our pride. Sunless solitude, follow not this corrupting light. Prophets of confidence always crashes out of sight. Hear me, for we all bear this mark. Thus we must remain alone in the dark. <gasps> she said it. Okay, roll credits. She said the title of the game. Alone in the Dark. That was a pretty good poem. Uh, 
I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Okay, just make sure there wasn't a small child in there or something. That's creepy. Wait a minute. Bullets reloading. <gasps> oh my god. I just realized something. So I just reloaded the bullets. We can now go back. The very top. Bullet. Nice. Okay, reload the shotgun as well. Keep everything reloaded just in case. How's the game? It's, it's okay so far. I'm giving it a solid 6.9 right now. I think 6.9 is like a good score for this game so far. It's not bad. It's not all amazing either. Just sort of pretty nice. Like nice middle of the road game. Slightly above average. I've played far worse and I've played far better. Just kind of like pretty nice though. Having a good time with it. Oh. The cellar. Oh, this is from before. It... The oh, straight ahead and to the left. I I don't know. I don't know if this is a remake or a reboot. It seems like a reboot. I've never like played the first one enough to get the story, so I'm not sure like how closely it's following the first game, or if it's a completely different story. I don't know if there's any of the first game in this, or if it's just all new. Definitely seeing rats. Oh, looks like we're missing a fuse. Turn off electricity. Get the valve. Forsaken crucifix. What's there? A switch. Maybe that goes here? It worked. But now it's dark and creepy. A valve handle? I need a valve. Maybe now we can turn on steam? Oh, I can't turn it back on. It's very dark in here. That back. <laughs> We're fine. What the hell is that? I think that's his head. It's like trapped in the wall. <laughs> What's over here? Okay, nothing. Okay, that's blocked. Now this. This gives me Resident Evil 7 vibes. Hello. Valve handle. Giving me lots of health stuff in the beginning, but now they're being kind of stingy about it. Jeremy? Hi. 
You, you okay, buddy? What the hell is going on? Is that Barnacle? Where's the body? Broken plate. Okay. I'm having a good time with it, Potter. It's been pretty fun so far. Just don't expect like the greatest game ever, but if you like if you like your story your horror games to have lots of story, there's lots of story in this one. It's a little bit of combat, but not too much. It's more about storytelling. At least in the beginning. It's stained. Looks like some kind of rot. Ooh. Piece you of know, plate. Mr. Waits, I saw a piece of the plate that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. We went upstairs instead and played backgammon. I let her win. Because she's so unhappy. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. Maybe if you had more eyes, you would see these things. I wish you had all the eyes you needed. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. Passive-aggressive little person, isn't she? Jeez. Rude. It's another plate for the talisman. Like the other one, it's broken. I'm missing one expensive. more piece. All right, thank you for liking the live. All right, looks like we're back in the real world again. So Cassandra's room is where the next key is. Ooh, we have the medicine box key. Let's go grab that. That's right upstairs. Right over here. No, that's the bathroom. Never mind. Not here. Here. Medicine box key. Dr. Jenkins lozenges. Want a certain medicine prescribed to the author, Cassandra Beauregard. This bottle contains um, tablets said to relieve sore throats and maintain, contains two vital vitamins. Um, What's on there? Sugar-coated compressed tablets of what? Old medicine was wild. They would just give straight up give people methamphetamine, heroin, cocaine, just as medicine because they didn't know back any better back then. Nurses watch. I'm seeing a trumpet. It's like, of course, you give someone a hardcore um, opioid, they're going to feel way better for a while. But you gave them something that's going to cause a whole lot more problems. Yeah, this is set in the 20s where they just didn't, they just didn't know that certain things were highly addictive or not good for you yet. Okay, that's locked. Yeah, let me get that. <laughs> Thank you, Chip Dusky, for that follow on the TikTok stream. Okay, where am I going? Um, I gotta get to Cassandra's room, which is come on, babe. Cassandra's room is okay. It's on the. I need to get to the sitting room, which is. Way back in that other area again. Let's say it's through here. Uh, Cynical Rapture, thank you for that resub of four months. Appreciate that. Okay, I think it's up here and then down the hall. Uh, they're releasing uh, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD on the Switch this year. I never played it, so I'm excited about that. Sitting room key. 
I'm out of ground beef. Is Dan's grocery still open? Uh, not right now, but it will be. There's something soon. missing. We'll play a little more grocery. Probably wait till next update because there's a lot of games coming out this week. We got this game, and then Friday we get Rise of Ronin and Dragon's Dogma 2. <laughs> it's it's a busy week, and we still got the Stardew Valley update. We still gotta play some more of that. This must be that kid's room. Why does she seem so familiar? A small request. Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. How was Stardew yesterday's holiday shot? Really good. The update adds a lot of nice things that blend almost seamlessly into the base game. And there's lots of quality of life updates. <laughs> oh God! Ah! Ah! Oh my God, that was horrifying. Oh, they got me. I always hated those. Did that little girl's the little doll's head just pump off? I always hated the Jack in the Box. Do you know what else I also I really um, hated as a kid was really blown up balloons because they would sit there and I would just like be oh god it's gonna pop it's gonna pop when's it gonna pop it's gonna pop and then once I stop worrying about it then it pops and it scares the bejesus out of me. They get but balloons gave me anxiety. smoke around the little girl what you got there you drawing something <laughs> you nothing doing? special I'm just bored do I know you from somewhere I remember you mr. Conby from where don't touch that. Cassandra wouldn't like it. She wouldn't like it at all. Do you know where she is? I'd rather not talk about it. It makes me upset. Besides, she'll be back after the Feast of St. John. You think? Yep. It's all on the page, Mr. Conby. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. All right. I'm gonna go now, if that's okay. I don't like to stay too long in the same place. Mr. McCoffee might find me. Hey. Is he mean to you? Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Conby. You should know that by now. What? Okay, I'm now convinced that that's some sort of so ancient spirit, not a child. It's guiding me to do something. But what? Yeah, put I don't the think I have there. everything I need. Definitely Ms. not a child Beauregard, anymore. I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I've put the box in Lottie's room for now, and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Mr. Waits. If I find the full set of bottles, then maybe I can make something out of the stains of rot. It's another one of those strange Another problems. puzzle. Find the combination for the lock. Okay. I'll chat. Um, this thing right here, this device, is called a typewriter. All right. Now, before we had computers, 
when we get, we would sometimes get um, assignments where you had to type up your paper for school, and you get out your typewriter, and you would ching, 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 uh, type out your letters. You have a little whiteout if you want to like, if you made an error and need to retype on something, and you would actually type because these little like, every, if you press the A button, a little like hammer with an A symbol would slap it with ink and then put a little A there and then. B, C, D, like, so you press that, and that's what it's doing is, like, stamping, and that's called a typewriter. Once uh, computers and printers and Word came out, no one used these anymore, but that's what they were back in the day. Migraine ailment. Hmm. It's like a precursor to Word, yes. Analog Word. Okay. How about here? And then rotate. How about the rot made the shape of a snake. There must be something important to find here. Two Maybe it has something to do with the numbers on the labels. Two, five, seven. Two five seven, but what? Two five seven. Oh, probably this again. Two five seven would be. Um, can we take a picture of this? <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, okay. So I need two five seven. So we need. Let me take my picture. Two would be Pisces. So we start with Pisces. Two five. Two three four five. Gemini is the middle. Let me just randomly roll for this last one. There we go. <laughs> Broken plate. Perfect. That's called playing smart, not hard. Playing smarter, not harder. Was this? What's through here again? Oh, bathroom. Cockroaches. <laughs> Wait a minute. I see a pool full of water. We know what that means. We're gonna have to drain that at some point. I'll have to reach in there and drain the water. It looks like not right now. There's no interactions in this room. Not yet, though. At some point, we're gonna have to reach in that thing and pull it out. Oh my god, did someone just take German? No. France? Did someone just steal France? Which one of you took France? Someone stole the whole thing. It's just gone. Basement. Cellar. Okay, that's right. I got this piece. Uh... Why do they call this place French Quarter? Um, because if you ask a quarter in this area, if it's French, it goes, oui, oui. I don't need to go back to the other side. Wait, through here, I think, and then down. I'm being unbearable, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so now we go back to the boiler plates. And... Wait, hold on. 
No, behind me. Behind me and in here. There it is. Backtracking is a staple in horror games. I could probably solve this without using the picture. I mean, without using the... I have to look it up because it's just a photo. Use it a little bit though. Hey, this looks like farmland. And then. Yep, that definitely goes there. That looks like land. Uh, this looks like land as well. That's definitely land there. Pieces on the top don't match. No, they do. We're very close. I think this needs rotated. Aha! <laughs> Nailed it. And then what is in here? I need a number. Let me find what the, what number we're looking at. I don't know. I don't. There must be a number that I missed somewhere. Mm -hmm. Uh, we we've already used this first number here. The Three five eight on a different puzzle. So I'm, I don't know. There are always three numbers. Three numbers. Yeah, there's the photo. Maybe it's in a different area. Hmm. Have I seen a chapel in a farm before? <laughs> I'll make you happy by using this number again. Three, five, a hey, chat is obsessed with this number. Well, let's, let's see. Nothing happened. And we'll try the reverse. Just to make, make sure chat's happy. See, nothing happened. But it's not that. There's some other number. We just got to figure out what it is. Oh. Mm. Oh, there it is. I see it now. Okay. <laughs> Five, seven, Nine, five, seven, nine. All right, five, five, seven, nine. Black glass is showing another room. Must be a way to another one of Jeremy's memories. Wine cellar. Like through the wine cellar, maybe? Wait a minute. The wine cellar's just gone. This isn't right. This is all different. 
Yeah, the wine cellar is gone, and now this leads to a graveyard. Great. I knew it. I knew it would work. You're getting good at this, Carnby. Maybe a little too good at this. I think we made a grave mistake by coming here. Kind of an awfully big area. We're ho worried there might be a boss fight. That's the thing about graveyards. They're very popular. Everyone's just dying to get in. The Hartwood's family crypt. Emily's family must have deeper roots in New Orleans than I thought. I figured she was a Yankee like me. When people see graveyards, they always think to themselves, that's the last thing I'll need. Welcome back from the ad break, guys. Sorry for that bad timing, but you didn't miss anything. We just walked out of that room, and now we are currently in a graveyard. Nothing's happened yet, so I'm just, just looking around. Looks like that guy, I take that off that guy's chest, maybe? The Blessing. What's this? Hmm. Yeah, Dragon's Dama is getting like eight, eights and nines across the board. So it's going to be a good one. Is that a chest? Bullets, four shotgun shells. Oh no. They don't give you that many shells for a good reason. It's never a good, never a good one. Dragon Dama 2 will be only good in two places in co-streams and yours. Now there's lots of good streamers on Twitch that'll so be great for watching that. But thank you for being a fan. We both appreciate that. Um, I haven't tried just body shot to see if that does the same damage or not. People are upset Dragon's Dogma doesn't run on well on Steam Deck. Well, I mean. It's a graphically intense game, and the Steam Deck, you know, isn't exactly you know, the got here? best hardware. I'm gonna have to turn it down. Got it. Got. I don't know what I did, but okay. <laughs> uh, the Steam Deck is fine. It's just. You just gotta realize when you buy it, you're not gonna play every game with max settings. Uh oh. Alright. Could I get it? Oh, there's a Molotov right there. I need to take advantage of that next time. Ooh. Is, did I miss that? I don't think so. I think it's on the other side. Anything over here. If you want to, like, cheat with your Steam Deck, what you could do is play games on your main PC and stream over Wi-Fi to your Steam Deck. If you have good Wi-Fi, it works really well. Pistol bullet. All right, let's see. 
Jeremy sketched this chapel in his book, so it must be important. Looks like I'll need more medallions. Two more medallions. Yeah, I definitely get Evil Within or Resident Evil vibes with this game. Ah, uh, that's what we were talking about before. Like this, you get a lot of Evil Within, with, especially with his like hat and the way he holds himself, the old timey time of it. Yeah, open world games are notoriously hard to optimize for like all system of stuff. Even The Witcher Three, one of the best games ever made, it ha it struggled for a while to get like running on everything. Even it wasn't like free of performance problems, so it'll take them a little while to get some optimization going. But hopefully, at, le at least it runs okay at the start. Guess we'll find out soon, though. Ooh, what is that? Bullets. Person got buried with bullets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they got their priorities together, I guess. Happy birthday. Whose birthday is it? <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> but happy birthday to whoever it is. It's got to be someone's birthday in chat. Statistically, at least one person has their birthday today. Death animation. No animation, it just dies. Oh, come on. Expecting, you know, at least like a little animation or like a head rip off or something, but no, nothing. A little disappointing. Take that! Yeah! He always gets picked first. <laughs> That's not bad. Pretty good. Alright, I can't remember. Did we pick any loot over here? I don't think we did, but we'll double check. Oh, we did. Got one bullet. Yeah, given those heavy attacks, it was like super OP. I think we got a couple of items down here. Let's grab those. Health and pistol. Make sure everything's reloaded. Got him. All right, not bad. Not bad. Okay. Oh, thank you, chat. I like the new, that emote Julia made for us, Dan Shoot. <laughs> it looks great. He picked the wrong person to mess with, I know. Literally, I was the only person to mess with, and he messed with me. Left control to sneak. Thanks. Does they really want me to sneak? Ooh, there's another weapon. <gasps> Molly.
<laughs> uh oh. Okay. You <laughs> got wrecked. <laughs> Seems like you can't miss as long as you lock on with that thing. Another one. Looks like another Molly to me right here. <laughs> I'm on fire too. Okay. Not bad. They're gone. I burnt my outfit though. <laughs> I'm all singed. Okay, don't go in there yet. Let's make sure we got all the loot out here before we do anything else. Oop, what's that? Another molly. Okay, I think I got everything. Bullets. We love some bullets. Dance game is my favorite streamer. Well, thank you, Donald. Appreciate that. Don't get too scared. I'm trying not to. This game isn't too scary. It's uh, it's, it's like it's okay. Sometimes it has a good jump scare once in a while. It's blocked. It's not too terribly scary yet. A little scarier than Stardew, though. <laughs> Looks like a boss arena. And I see Molotovs right there. Uh oh. I'm just seeing lots of Molotovs. Like, we got the fight in here. What is that? Bullets? We love bullets. Ew. Cockroaches. What is that? Another Molotov? Okay. So there's something in here. I need to throw that at him. Does very good damage. Okay, it looks like just a bottle. Oh, there's the thingy. <laughs> you can't get me, you dumb dumb. Uh oh, you can though. Uh oh. Where did he go? Okay. Oh, health drink, health drink. Okay, now we're full health. Nice to give me so many drinks there. Oh. 
What's that? Uh, brick, hammer. Okay, and health drink. Perfect. There's still gonna be one more out there somewhere. One more plate. Rats! Oh, dear God. Uh oh, uh oh. Reloading, reloading, reloading. Boom! Take that! Ew. Okay, grab that. Okay, take the drinks. <laughs> How's the story so far? It's it's interesting enough to want to keep going. Curious what's happening. Uh, they came out of this one, right? Yeah. So, it's probably another thing in here. Oh no! Further down. Yeah, it's it's not. This isn't a triple A game. It's more of a double A or single A, whatever we're calling, like, games with slightly less budgets than, you know, like, the Suicide Squads or the, you know, the Skull and Bones. Hmm. Okay, so, both of these. Wait, am I supposed to know which? <laughs> Hold on. That can't be right. Let me double check the photo here. Let's see. Um, view. Was it this one? No. I thought there was a picture of... Oh, there it is. They're all facing up in that last photo, but I don't see this one. Maybe we just make them both face hmm. upward. Oh, wait a minute. There's a symbol there, isn't there? The top there. Aha! Okay, yeah, it was the little circles on the top and the bottom. Okay, it's all about the rim. Okay, I could use a little... If we could use a few more, if anyone chat's got some like loot or something, I'm kind of low. If anyone found any bullets, if you could send them into the portal to where I am and let me have them, that'd be great. This is where we need like Twitch integration, where I'd be like, "Chat, I need more bullets," and you guys could like do some little mini game, and then boom, I get bullets. Creepy. More enemies, you say? No! <laughs> no! Not bad stuff. <laughs> uh, what the? <laughs> oh my god! Oh shit! There's too many of them. That's way die. too many. <laughs> nope. Oh god! There's a dodge button this whole time. There was a dodge.
Okay, I found that there's a dodge button. <laughs> I didn't know. Okay, apparently space dodges. I don't remember the members saying that you can dodge with space, but maybe I missed it. <laughs> I don't know. Now what do we got here? Hmm. Alright, let's climb back up. Alright, now all of them need to face upward on this last little thing here. At least according to that drawing. Thank God that's over. How you, how are you so sure it's over? You don't know it's over. There could be another hour of this. Huh. Okay, I believe the hand was on top. And it was... And then this was like that. Nope. I need you to not move the top one and just. Let me look at the picture again. Something's off the. Let me let me look that at the picture. That can't be right. One more time. It's. Eagle, hand on top, eagle on the right. Unless it's the, unless it's the rim again. Oh, there we go. Okay. Slightly turn the lamb, just the ever so slightly to the right. That's a lady. Thank you, little T plus, for the dinosaur. Please don't touch her, Jeremy. What are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I know. It, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I, I'm just trying to keep evil at bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at Dorsetto. Emily? Why would you... My letter. I keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? How is any of this happening? I made... I made it terrible. With some the dark man. Who is he? No, 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 don't say his name. He can hear us. He's always listening. Jeremy, I need to understand what is going on. I promised him everything. When the sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. But at least the evil about to awaken and to settle won't harm anyone outside of that cursed place. You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. Then what's all the business about Terawea? Why did you want to go there? Oh, I can't go there. I'm not allowed. But you wanted to. Can I go? Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? Is there something there that would help? Why would you give me hope? That's so cruel. Okay. Sounds like we're onto something here. What should Look I- Look out! 
behind you! Run! Don't let him take you! My everything. I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then burn out like tide glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman, maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way, a way to find me again, perhaps in Terroya. Oh, my love, Jeremy. Talk to Jeremy in the chapel. Luggage key. Oh, is she dead? She's dead. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. When did she die? Why is she dead? Like, it's getting so strange. You know, you know what's really scary? When a streamer suddenly goes into a sponsored segment of their stream. Oh my God. Well, let's go ahead and talk about our monthly sponsor real fast, Displate. Uh, this next few minutes of the stream is sponsored by our monthly sponsor, Displate. What are Displates? They are the metal posters on the wall behind me. They have everything from movies to TV shows to hand-drawn artwork like Julia made us some back here that you can see. I'm valiantly hiding behind a bush while Tifa protects me from the monsters. This is our Scooby-Doo themed horror month uh, poster as well. If you go into the exclamation point this point command in the Twitch chat, or if you do the um, look below the video and YouTube in the description, there is a link there as well for our page on display. They're currently having a sale going right now. If you um, check it out, you can see at the top of the screen what the current sale is and you can order some displays. Just clicking that link applies a discount automatically for you. Uh, display link is there in chat. Let me show you what they are real fast. They are metal posters like this. They are very thin, almost paper thin, sheets of metal. Very sturdy, and the print quality on them is stunning. Look at um, this one's from Cyberpunk. There's got a bunch of new Cyberpunk ones available. If you're a big fan of Cyberpunk, they just put some official uh, ones from CD Projekt Red on there uh, with V on the motorcycle. Another another shot here of that. The infamous car, I think that's Johnny's car in there. Then the Great Pyramid. Another beautiful cyberpunk one. You might not recognize this place from the parade with V. There's V on the motorcycle and also Johnny in the reflection. Very cool. They also have if you like David Hopper in this game, they do have Stranger Things posters as well. If you like Stranger Things. From Netflix, they have movies, TV shows. Even some hand-drawn ones, like this is from our intro with me um, fighting the dragon on the bridge. we got lots of those as well. Again, go to the exclamation point display command in chat if you want to check them out. How do they go on the wall, you might ask? Well, they give you these things to mount them. You stick this on your wall. Um, and this peels off without ruining your wall, your dry drywall. Then you take this really heavy duty magnet and stick it on here. And then this, the magnet will hold the display against the wall flat. 
And if you ever want to remove it, you just pull it off because it's a magnet and swap it out. Or if you just peel this off if you want to remove it completely. They give you those when you order. Again, check the link below the channel and a chat with exclamation point display command if you want to check out Display. They are our monthly sponsor. Thank you, Display, for sponsoring our channel. Give me a second here. Boop. There we go. It's going to peel the paint off the wall. No, it doesn't. Hello there. They're designed to not peel your paint off the wall. Oh, I'll grab my controller. I can play them with the controller. Okay. I recommend uh, the ones behind me are size medium and they're matte. They also have glossy if you want glossy. All right. What do we got going on here? What do we have the key to? Luggage key. Where have I seen luggage before? You know, I don't know if I have seen luggage. Is At the airport? <laughs> Are they thick? They're very thin. You can frame them if you want. Um, they also have an option um, on display to have them pre-framed if you want. I think they look nice just on the wall without anything. But uh, for these behind me, I put 3D mounts and then put lights behind the mounts to get that like glow look. I don't know doing that. Oh, she's gone. What's here? Brightness from afar. Wait a minute. So just like um, just like in Resident Evil, the room turns blue when you get everything. Okay, so anything that's in red, I've missed loot in. I need to go back. So I think there, there was a luggage in here as well. Yeah, there's the luggage. Barlow lens, nice. That goes to the, the library. Works. Why would he lock that up? Jeremy had found a way to enter Terra. Oh, not that one. Oh, map. So sitting room, there's something in there I missed. Let's go find out what that is. Yeah, Alone in the Dark was created and that inspired Resident Evil. And then Resident Evil inspired Evil Within. And now, Evil Within inspired a reboot of Resident Evil, and now Resident Evil reboot has inspired a reboot of Alone in the Dark. It's like a nice chain of inspiration there. We missed something in here. But what? see anything to use anywhere but there's definitely something in here okay let's go downstairs into the library so that's where our next objective is going to be yep this came out today but this is a reboot of the series there's been a couple I think one other reboot that wasn't very good I think on PlayStation 3 um, it wasn't great it was okay. It wasn't great. Um, and then this is a the original was on need the key. DOS. It was a DOS fixed perspective game. It has not aged well. You can get it for like dirt cheap on GOG and stuff. If you're curious. I'm not going to walk out of this now. I need to I'm help Emily there. save her uncle. Is it in here? Nope. Oh, drawing room is through the piazza there. Let's go through the middle. Over this way. Huh. 
There's also an Alone in the Dark movie. They made a movie? I've never heard of it, so I'm assuming it wasn't good. Was it bad? Long time ago. It was awful. <laughs> oh no. Two out of ten on IMBD. Oh, DB. Ooh. That's bad. That's a low score. Barlow lens. Oh God, what? Whoa. What the? <laughs> oh no. Flashbang. What are these creepy statues here? Thank you for changing up the games. Really fun to see different things. Oh, you're welcome, Rowdy. Thank you for watching and thank you for being a follower. This looks like a puzzle that needs to get rearranged. Nailed it. Nine four seven. Whoa, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory. Oh, the fireplace in the dining room. Nine four seven. Fireplace in the dining room. Oh my. Okay, where's the dining room? <laughs> oh, there it is. Uh, so I want to go out, go to the right, and then get into that nice stairs is the way in there. Horror games love backtracking. It is like their their favorite thing. And here we go. Here we go. That's what I said. So bright. I didn't realize there were chapters. Oh, it's beautiful here. I'm glad to see you made it. I had my doubts. But the hope you instilled has yet abandoned me. I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? My name is Juan Luis Jorge. And this is indeed the convent of Tarawea. You'll have to excuse me. But Yermi never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Yermi once found important. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Tarawea. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. 
If you are already somehow part of Jeremy, why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, this far-flung convent is what Jeremy imagines. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity. A spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their seto and Jeremy's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. Am I right? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Jeremy's relationship with the Dark Man. It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Jeremy with. Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud if you want such answers. <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. There is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The dark man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, detective. Oh, jeez, just perfect. You have any advice on how to deal with the dark man? Hmm. I suppose suppression could work. Try not to pay him any attention. That's how you. <laughs> that's how you deal with a bully. Just don't pay him any attention to him. This place is beautiful. Okay, not not in there though. Oh no, I gotta go down in the creepy catacomb. I uh, thank you, Chasmins, for that resub. Ashley for gifting a gift sub, and congrats, Ashley, for getting a gift sub from Ash. One, two, three. One, three is eight. Sorry. Thank you. All right, let's go. Uh-oh. I don't like this place. Oh, thank you for the light chat. <laughs> So pretty in here. Beautiful. Wow, that is gorgeous. I love that. Something missing. Hollow cross. <laughs> Boo. Chimo, thank you for gifting a gift sub. And casual Sunday, thank you for subbing on Wednesday. Do you think monks keep a lot of bullets? 
Because I could use some more bullets. The great library was endless, beautiful, and terrible. An Akashic record for the universe inside the mind of Jeremy Hotwood. Now corrupted by a story forced upon him, told by a maniacal liar, an evil conjured by science and secrecy. I will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian, the only thing invisible to the Prowler. The, the Prowler? Oh no, chat. You know what this means. It's gonna be a stealth section with insta kills. Oh, I hate that. Oh. <laughs> they're letting me go through where it's nice and polite and nice, and then they're gonna like make me have to sneak past stuff. Oh. Is that blood? Uh oh. That's never a good sign. Okay. There's a hole there I can slide into, but let me look around first. There's something missing. Another hollow cross. Is that a ladder? Must be a shortcut there. Yeah, those statues. They said something about a librarian having a key, and these guys kind of look like librarians, so I'm assuming one of them's gonna have a key. Hey. Ooh. Unmasked evil. Forbidden knowledge. I guess that was just meant to be a secret. Um, is there a sec second way over here? Can that be blown up? I bust, I passed my sterilization subject in medical school. One step closer to being medical assistant. Awesome, X Corpatron. Let's give X Corpatron some claps, everybody. Getting through medical school. Oh, right there. Um, the key of Hubertus. After the suspended room was built, its key was given to a, a convent librarian, Hubertus, to keep Jeremy's darkest secrets safe from prowling eyes. Oh God, oh no.
<laughs> Bye, loser. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I think that guy, that punk is gone for now. <laughs> That was, that was something. Take a little drink after that. I know that was dramatic. Ah, all right. You Dan wiggled your way out of that one, exactly. I was, he was trying to get me. I'm like, uh-uh, not today. Not today. Thank you, Johoris. Less than three to everyone, chat. Who is stomping? Okay, where does uh, this go? It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext shipping company pressing their contribution. Hey. I was reading that. <laughs> Detective! What? What? I hope you found what you were looking for. I fear there is no going back. I was so close. There must be something I can work with. Come on, Carmby, think. Think! Right. Good luck, detective. No help. <laughs> well, thank God you're here, detective. Sitting all alone in a place like this. Are you always I'd drinking? I'd never live it down if the papers got wind of it. <laughs> Hey, Ruth, right? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. I'm sure you have a whole file on me by now, Detective. I suppose we weren't formally introduced. I'm Ruth Talon, Miss Ruth Talon, in case you're wondering. Edward Cornby. Enchanté. I keep hearing his name is Cornbeef. Edward Cornbeef. Are you sure? I had too many already. Nice. It's good. I know. I have great taste, Detective. I heard you're trying to break Jeremy's promise to the Dark Man. Yeah. Do you know anything about that kind of stuff? No. But it makes you wonder if he made a promise. Can't he simply stand by his words? Look, I'm just trying to get Jeremy out of a bad deal, so he'll come back with us to New Orleans. Well, if all fails... What are you doing? <laughs> it's a sign of submission to the Dark Man. I saw it in a dream once. What? You don't know the Prext Shipping Company by any chance. I do. They made big money during the war. Their waterfront office is just over there. 
How did you do that? Do what, detective? <laughs> Bonne chance. Bitch! Hey, have you seen Emily Hartwood anywhere? Are you trying to make me jealous, detective? <laughs> no, I haven't seen your doll anywhere. Clearly, this that was witchcraft. Just somehow was able to make that happen. Forbidden knowledge. New Orleans lies southwest of Erceto, along the great Mississippi River. Its old town, the French Quarter, or the Vieux Carré, is home of the proud and often rich Creoles. Wrapped around this center, you will find a large and eclectic city full of people including the most mundane dock workers, reckless gangsters, jazz craze flappers, and of course, the mysterious voodoo people. Flappers. At night, you can stand on the lakeside of Verseto and watch New Orleans glow like embers on the horizon. Flapper is an interesting name for a group. The Flappers. Jazz crazed Price flappers. Shipping company. According to the book in Tarawea, the Dark Man is connected to a performance that Jeremy went to somewhere in New Orleans. I'm sure I can find... I don't know where to go. Okay. Explore the docks, find a way inside the warehouse. Guess this is it's locked. It's locked from the other side. I don't know how you know that he didn't touch the handle, but okay. Oh, is it because they had those, like, fancy flaps? I remember... There was like a flappy coats that were very popular for dancing in that time period. Maybe that's why they're flappers. Uh oh. Rock. Uh oh. <laughs> Get wrecked, you ugly monster thing. What is that? Uh, another one of those? Oh, no! Sir! Uh oh, there's two of them. Okay, we're gonna have PS2 game? Not really. It just feels like a indie horror, like not an indie, but a double A horror game. Like enough budget to get like David Harbor and stuff, but you know, not enough to get like you know the most cutting edge of graphics and stuff. There we go, that's better. Interrupt with a shoddy and then finish him off with the bludgeoning. Risk for versus reward. I think that's a molly. It looks like a molly, but it's not. Oh, got him! Kill a monster with an opportunity. Oh. Not bad.
Ooh, what's that? Uh, ooh, health items, definitely need those. Took out quite a bit of health there doing trying to do melee. Now let's hope he left us some goodies in the uh, room here. There must be another way inside. Mm, definitely in there. Was that a map? Oh, good. Map of the docks. So there's a sewer entrance over by the water, the shipping company, Harper Master. The sewer system has a tunnel running right below Preg's shipping company. I bet I can use it to get inside. Yep, do that. The admin of my office called me Molly for an entire year. There's a there's a point when that happens that it's been going on for too long. You feel embarrassed to correct them because you let like, let's say someone called me Don for like a whole year at my at a job, and I'm, then I have to like somewhere day. You know, you know it's actually Dan. It, like it's like when do you ever bring it up, or you just stay as Don forever just to make things easier. It's like when is it oh, when is it okay to like correct them, or you just live as Don. Don's gaming. For science! Okay, never mind then. Ugh. Immortal bird. I had to test it for science. Dan the man, love your content. Thank you, Brent. Oh, very nice, Rowdy Maggie. Let's grab that. Uh, shotgun shells. Perfect. Um, it looks like a key. Steve Doors key? No cars go. Thank you for that 59 month resub. Appreciate that. Thank you so much for that. Very kind of you. Oh, no. Not another one. Take that! Okay, slightly damaged myself, but that was pretty good. I'd say everything in the game is good, except the combat is definitely just okay. Like it's it's the part the, the gameplay part of the game is definitely the weaker part. Like it's fine, it's not bad, it's just not exciting either. It's just very basic bare bones stuff like the stealth and the combat and stuff we've all seen it done better and in more interesting ways in different games but the story the atmosphere and the art and stuff is pretty good and of course David Harbour is pretty good at playing the, the detective guy has he ever played a cop before I don't know maybe I have seen stranger things in my life. <laughs> All finished. Stranger thing. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> What's in there? Bullets. Thank you. Oh no. There's so many. Are they serious? Okay, we're going to the sewer. I'll hang down here with the rats. They're better company. The Molotovs, uh, like there's no crafting system in this. Sometimes they just, they explode, sometimes they don't. I don't know. I don't know what determines if it's a Molotov or not. 
reload. Can you change David's outfit? I think so. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. You can play as the original model as from the original game. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> That's great. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, the old DOS model. Oh, extras. Skin off. They have director's commentary as well. Vintage horror filters. Um... Oh no, that's definitely something. Let's just go this way and leave him there. Hello. So it looks like we're going to have to deal with spider creatures now. That's great. Yeah, definitely a very different kind of game from the original game. This isn't a remake of the original. It's a reboot of the series. It's like a ladder there. And some barrels. Oh. Looks like another drink. Perfect. Uh, I expect big things with the Silent Hill 2 remaster. Hopefully it's great. From what they show, it looks good. I just hope they don't ruin it. This is a big room. Uh oh. All right. Made it inside the warehouse. Uh oh. Lots of bullets. The office must be upstairs. Oh no. I'm getting flashbacks to Resident Evil 4. That's definitely Molotov. Make sure all the things are reloaded. There's definitely going to be a battle here. Ooh, here's the trumpet. Forsaken knowledge. Asleep, with an astracized mind, Yermi filtered these words from Darsetos, gangrenous ground. Ever their praises, and abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, mother, and take pity on us. Accept our sacrifice, and judge our worth. Ia. Shubnigrath. Ia. Shubnigrath. Hmm. I don't know what that's all about. Definitely some sort of Lovecraftian style cult happening. Let's see. Machine gun cartridge. Machine gun. Oh, a machine gun. Hey, I always wanted to try one of these. A Tommy gun. Oh damn, those are. They fire really rapidly, but they're really inaccurate. Um. 
Oh, the clue. ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the deep. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now let's keep the papers safe. What is left? Later is right. And hell is back again. Four, five, four, maybe? Okay. <laughs> Gotta go manifest on September 19th, 1892. Break shipping company delivered four steamer trunks, one Egyptian sarcophagus. Egyptian, and that's where the dark man is. Belonging to the showman called the Black Pharaoh. Performing at Gaitin Street. That's why he looked Egyptian. He's a, this is like some sort of spirit of an Egyptian pharaoh. Interesting. Here we go. The address where Jeremy first encountered the Dark Man. I don't like that they um, gave me all these bullets and health and stuff. And a machine gun. Here we go. Yep. Who needs guns? <laughs> <laughs> Pro gamer. Easy. Just use the Molotovs. I have to fire a single bullet. Looks like the fog cleared up. Wait, we did we went through all that to discover we need to just go across the street right here. Like an awful lot of work. It's like, oh, it's right there. Ah, <laughs> uh, witness the Black Pharaoh. The Heartwood Curse. I was wondering why he looked Egyptian, so that would explain everything. Who this person is or what they're representing. Wait. Oh, is this where he did his show? Is this building? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you want to tell me what this is all about? Welcome, Detective. To the greatest show this side of the Mississippi. Now the hotel, the Black Pharaoh, the ancient magician who lived a thousand lives and wore a thousand masks. I can see why you settled on calling him the Dark Man. Saves your breath. So you got scared by a stage magician, and now he's living inside your head. You can mock me, detective. You would be the crazy one to think his presence and be ignored. Look where we are.
We didn't get to finish our last conversation, did we? You were about to tell me how to break the contract with the Dark Man. No, we can't. We would die to loose on the world. So many innocent would die. But there is a way to break out of the deal. There is. You offered me a way out. Steps to take. What are they? You'll never find them. They're forever entombed in his sunken desert temple. Jeremy, I'm not your enemy. Tell me where to go. How do I find the temple? No, we can't. I have to make this sacrifice. God damn it, Jeremy. I'm gonna save you. Don't worry. It sounds like he's sacrificing himself. How do you save someone who doesn't want to be saved? Well, he's going to get saved no matter what. I just need to find the temple somehow. It sounds like he's going, like he's sacrificing himself to this creature in order to have the creature keep something else worse than him contained. Oh, okay. I know what this is. Let me take a picture of that. So by saving this one, if we manage to save this one guy, the whole world will be doomed. Which doesn't sound great. Alright, so it is... One, two, three, four, five. No. The like H symbol. Oh, there's Pisces. So two, two, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, five, eight. Two, five, eight. Yep. We got fire brazer. That's like right here. Oh. Oh, I think we're in Egypt now. Inside his tomb. Very dark, creepy tomb. Oh, an eclipse! Oh. Uh, how does a pharaoh get his hair cut? Eclipse it. Doesn't even make sense. That much, that's what makes it so good. A sunken desert temple. I better get down there. Um, it's good. Yep, definitely a temple down there, deep in the ground. Probably gonna find some rope over here. Well, in the dark, good. I would say it's uh, okay. It's like a decent little game. It's not amazing. It's not terrible. It's just sort of middle of the road. The temple of Nefron Ka lies under our camp. 
Despite all efforts, that unholy sight did not collapse, but sink beneath the sand. The pharaoh is long dead, his name meticulously stricken from all ancient writing. But that stage meant for blood and terror remains. The temple is said to be lightless, built to harbor all the haunters of the dark found in the very depths. That's of Liam O'Brien, yep. Calling on the gods meant creating a bridge between our world and theirs. The terrible Aldebaran of Taurus, the Black Sun, was seen as the most important star in the night sky. Because, according to the Kitab al -Azif, it was said to be the home of that crawling chaos known as Nyalahotep. Through ancient mechanisms, it was said that the priests could open shafts channeling the light emitted by that strange stone called the Shining Trapezohedron. Several streams pooled together above the statue of that dark man would then be sent through space towards the Black Sun, a message to the gods. The gifts bestowed on the sender are completely undocumented, but often assumes to involve dark blood pacts, where souls are traded for malicious miracles. Yeah, that's Liam O'Brien. Whenever he speaks in any of his accents, you instantly know it's him. Just has that voice. Machine gun cartridge. Every time he speaks, I'm like, oh, yep, that's him. Those remind me of the bats from from uh, Silent Hill. Uh, four of the ones you have to smack and then step on. How about here? Here we go. Use the old temple mechanisms to reveal the contract. It's a star constellation from one of Jeremy's books. I got a feeling this is it. this is where the contract is hidden. But how do I get to it? Okay, I don't know what that is yet. We have a switch. Oh god. Okay, those flying scarab things are annoying. If an ancient um pharaoh temple has bullets in it, I'm gonna be like Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure game. <laughs> Bullets. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Why? Oh God, I'm stuck. If I keep moving, okay. I'm crouched. Crouching isn't helping. Aiming. Change the skin. I think I'll just be stuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, let's see. Extras. Well, I think I have an ancient curse. Okay, crouching. Moving. 
I tried dodging. I am... I am stuck. And the dodging is not helping at all. I'm trying this. This, this is dodging. I'm dodging. Nothing's happening. I can't move. Nothing. Oops. <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll just have to reload the autosave. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, that was fun. Alright, guys, we're going to go ahead and stop it there for today. We'll finish this again sometime, probably on the comfy stream. Uh, thank you guys for watching. You guys have been absolutely wonderful. I'm going to go um, grab some lunch. I'm starving, and then we'll, I'm going to go to the park and get some, and I'll walk in for some exercise. And then I'll be back on Lich Night on the Comfy Stream, and we're going to play some more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on the second channel. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have been great, wonderful, amazing people. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone. Have a good night. Thank you for the follows, the subs, the resubs. Follow me on all my socials and my profile, and I'll see you guys tomorrow if I don't see you tonight. Bye, everyone. Have a good night. Little something you may 